so I think when you ask most people about the show Invincible, you're going to get a pretty positive response. This show has really blown up over the last few years, and I, for good reason. I think that season one and season two are both very, very good examples of a more underground comic book getting a not only good adaptation but just an overall great show with great voice actors and at times pretty great animation just not all the time and i wish i would have made a video on this topic sooner because i would have just kind of padded my track record in terms of talking about something and then it getting revealed but for the longest time ever since season one i know that i personally saw a lot of discourse online about what an invincible game would look like well we won't have to wait for long because skybound is making an invincible triple a game and yes this is completely different from the fortnite game mode that apparently exists for Invincible and that mobile game that kind of tricked everyone with a really dope CGI trailer. I don't know how I missed this yesterday, but I really have only seen like one other person talking about this, but Skybound is creating an invincible game and they're stating that is a triple a game studio that has industry vets from EA Activision AMZ games. However, they have a crowdfunding website. Now this really uh, raised some red flags for me almost immediately because crowdfunds really are not, they don't, they don't have the best track record, let's say in terms of games. Basically, if you don't know what crowdfunding is, when a big company wants to do something, but they need some money for it, they'll put out a GoFundMe, or in this case, a Republic investment page. I've never seen this website before in my life. They say on the crowdfunding website that they've successfully raised $18 million from everyday investors. And one of the reasons that they want to crowdfund this video game is to keep the development in-house. Basically, if you know nothing about game development like myself, the way it works is a studio will come up with an idea and they'll take it to EA, for example, or Activision or Blizzard if it's a really shitty online shooter. After this, then they'll kind of work together. The production company will kind of fund them, but at the same time, they'll have some sort of creative control. And this is something that Skybound is trying to avoid. And it seems like they're also doing so with the help of Robert Kirkman himself, which it can be a good or bad thing. We'll have to see as time goes on. One of the things they say about this project is if you follow the show, you can imagine exactly what to expect from this video game. Tons of action, st stunning game and character design, and of course, a healthy dose of blood. So they're pretty much making it. I don't, I don't really know what they're making it. They're making it something. See, this is where my biggest red flag kind of comes into play is they're pushing this out to people who are basically really big fans of Invincible. And I'm not here to like roast people who donate to this because if Matt and Trey or South Park Studios came out and they were like, hey, we're going to need some crowdfunding help to make this cool new South Park project, I would give them probably 80% of my revenue. But here we really don't have anything we don't have what kind of game it's going to be the only thing we really have is that they're saying that it's a triple a game studio and there's going to be 30 plus employees working on this now if you don't know that's not a very big size for a triple a studio and you know maybe that's a good thing i feel like double a games have pretty much overtaken triple a games nowadays but i i don't know i to be doing this and then be doing it as a crowdfunding, it just is weird to me. The other thing is usually crowdfunded projects are for multiplayer games or for online games because then you can very easily reward the people who invested. You could give them a free pack of skins, a free like abundance of loot boxes or little things here and there. I don't know if there's ever been a crowd fo focused or crowd funded uh, single player experience, but I, I'm probably wrong. And you know, this could end up being a really solid single player game. This could be a story focused invincible game. The reason I keep saying single player is because when I think of invincible, I find it very hard to think of an 
MMO or a very large multiplayer experience. I think more tone to games like Spider-Man or the last Ronin game that we know that's in development. I don't really think of the world of Invincible. I think of the characters. I think one of the reasons why the show and the comic are so beloved are the characters and the situations the characters are put in with each other, with others, or just with themselves. I feel like the character development of Mark and of Omni-Man and their relationship is one of the most beautiful examples of great storytelling between two characters, at least in season one and some parts of season two. But I also think that they... I, I'm really hoping they don't go into this game thinking that fans are going to care more about the world than the characters. Basically what I mean by this is I hope they don't think that they can just give us the creative tools to create our own superhero and kind of have our own adventures in the world of Invincible because outside of the characters I don't think the world is too unique. I think that the characters themselves and the powers that these characters have are very unique but I think that that's the driving force of the show and I hope that's something that they are aware of as well because if this is a game where you make your own superhero or villain and just kind of do different quests i'm not gonna want to play this that much i'm also curious if they would get the cast of the show to do this i mean it, it sounds like there are a lot of aspects of amazon games that have kind of turned into this studio like there's a bunch of industry vets from amazon games and ea and activision that are here but i don't know how the contracts for the cast is like how they're set up so if they can't get like jk simmons to be omni-man or they can't get mark's voice actor there eve's voice actress there really i don't think any of these characters can ever be heard in my ears differently from the show like i seriously think that seth rogan's performance as alan in season two of the show makes alan like my second favorite character i i think that steven yun is the perfect mark grayson and i don't really think you can have someone compete with them i mean you could definitely have people who recreate these voices sure but there's just so much dynamic uh like vocals with how they perform even people like sandra O oh for debbie or even um cecile from uh I think it's Walt, Walton Goggins performs as him. Even people like that make it really hard to hear someone else be these characters. I don't know, man. I just really like the show. And I think that this has the potential to be something really cool. And I just hope that they don't drop the ball here. But again, I'm not really one to talk because I would give so much money if South Park needed me to crowdfund something. So let me know what you guys think about this news in the comment section below. If you're an Invincible fan of the comics, how do you feel about this? And how do you feel about season two of the show? I think season two was really, really cool and really good. Uh, I think that there were some things here and there, like the release schedule that kind of hold it back. But otherwise, I thought it was really good. The other thing too is it does seem like the crowdfunding, the, the service has reached its goal. Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm reading an article that says that, so I'm, I, it doesn't really say anything on the website per se, but again, we're, we'll see as time goes on. I'm going to link everything in the description too, so you guys can kind of take a look at the crowdfunding yourself, and that way you can uh, take a look at the article I'm reading in case it's giving me fake news, which it probably is. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.